Increase Mather was one of the most important and prominent of the New England ministers. He was born in the colony. His father was Richard Mather, the minister of the First Church in Dorchester. His father-in-law was John Cotton, one of the leading lights of the whole Puritan movement. And during the Commonwealth period in England, Mather had spent about a dozen or more years in England as a preacher, traveling around Great Britain. And he, frankly, he was happier in Britain than he would be when he came back home to Boston, where he became the minister of the church in the North End, the Old North Church, a congregation there. And then when the colonists uh, revolted against Andros, or when Andros came in, Mather went off to England on a mission to try to get the charter restored, the charter that had been revoked in 1685. And he took up this mission quite eagerly, even though it was an uphill battle. Fortunately for him, of course, James II, who had revoked the charter, was overthrown by Parliament. And William and Mary, William of Orange, who was a Dutch prince, and Mary, who was James II's daughter, they were both Protestants, were called by Parliament to become the king and queen. This was a good opening for Increase Mather, since now he had Protestants to deal with. On the other hand, no king of whatever denomination is going to be happy with a colony that throws their governors in jail. He does manage to negotiate with William and gets a new charter for the Massachusetts Bay Colony. The charter will include Plymouth, and they will get to keep the assembly, the governing body of Massachusetts. The king and queen will appoint governors, no more of this electing of governors. However, William and Mary, recognize that England's about to go to war with France, don't want to have this troublesome colony on the border with New France, so they want to keep Massachusetts in line with Great Britain, and so agree to this charter, which balances the empire or the interest of, the, of Great Britain with the interests of the colony itself. They'll get to choose their assembly, the, go the governors will be chosen by the British Crown, and everything actually functions very well under this charter for the next 80 years. This is a governing instrument that allows for economic development in Massachusetts, a great degree of local autonomy, and as long as everyone stays in line with the British Empire, it's smooth sailing. On the other hand, back in Boston, Increase Mather's son Cotton is agitating. He thinks that we should simply go back to the old charter. He doesn't see a reason to cave into the royal authority at all. Increase Mather has a keener sense of the possibilities here, what is possible in the real world of politics when you're dealing with the British monarch. Increase comes home with the new charter, which will be the governing document in Massachusetts, really until 1775. So Increase Mather establishes the place of Massachusetts in the British Empire, and it's a place that Massachusetts will hold until real trouble breaks out 80 years later.